Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with an update on what's going to continue to be a dry and uh, very warm weather pattern here for the next several days. You can see all the sunshine across the Arklatex on this Monday afternoon as temperatures here shortly before 2 o'clock have warmed up uh, into the lower 80s over much of the area and will probably end up in the mid to upper 80s this afternoon before it's all said and done. Watching a disturbance to our north, you can see this uh, uh, moving towards the northeast over the top of this big upper level ridge which is going to continue to keep us very warm and very dry here. For most of the next 10 days, the good news is there is some hope towards the end of the 10 day period for seeing a little bit of rainfall. Robin's story to Futurecast shows that will not be the case, however, for tonight as we'll see a mostly clear sky. Expect plenty of sunshine once again on Tuesday as temperatures should warm into the mid to upper 80s. As we go through tomorrow night, we'll see the uh, clear to partly cloudy sky and on Wednesday, once again, plenty of sunshine with uh, a few clouds mixed in for Wednesday, not looking at anything significant as far as rainfall here uh, for this week. That will probably change the way it's looking right now towards the middle of next week. Here's a look at the overall weather pattern. You can see the upper level ridge kind of weakening somewhat. We'll have to keep an eye on this little short wave right in here. Uh, this may squeeze out a few showers, maybe over the northern edge of the area, but most models, if not all of them, keeping us dry. As we go into next week, notice the ridge here along the eastern seaboard. A little bit of a weakness here and a big upper level disturbance over the Pacific Northwest. As we move this forward, you can see that ridge uh, will stay over the east. We will see a possibility for some rain here next Wednesday and Thursday. This is probably the driest of all the different models as uh, most models showing a decent chance. In fact, here's the blend of all the different models showing rainfall totals half an inch to an inch over the northern half of the area and a half an inch or less over the southern half of the Arklatex. If you look at some of the individual models that make up the blend, you can see that uh, in Shreveport, uh, pretty much in line with the model blend. And notice the European model does show an inch in Shreveport and over an inch in Texarkana. Uh, but uh, over the south part of the area, that's where the rainfall likely will be at its lightest and below a half an inch the way things looking right now. And the only trouble with this is all that rain happens towards the end of the 10 day period. So we likely will see some changes before it's all said and done, both in timing as well as in amounts. Meantime, burn bans, uh, most of the Arklatex under a burn ban today. We did add McCurtain County in southeast Oklahoma and Red River County so far in northwest Louisiana. Uh, only a handful of counties or parishes currently not under burn ban. So tonight's forecast is looking mostly clear. It will be cool as we'll see temperatures pretty close to normal in Shreveport at 53, 49 degrees in Texarkana, 49 degrees in Marshall. Tomorrow I expect lots of sunshine, very warm day, normal high 78. We'll be at 89 in Shreveport, 86 in Texarkana, 88 in Natchitoches and 86 degrees for the high temperature in Carthage. 10 day forecast shows that we will see Temperatures pretty close to 90 for the rest of the work week, mid 80s for the weekend. And we'll kind of stay in the mid 80s into the first of next week. Notice next Wednesday and Thursday, which includes Halloween. We will see that chance for some showers across the area as daytime highs likely will retreat to the low 80s. Overnight lows will uh, eventually ease back into the low to middle 60s. So again, it does look like uh, we are going to stay dry this week with our next best chance of rain towards the middle part of next week.